We've already written code that dynamically makes a QR code based on the user's name and their email address. But with a little bit of extra code, we can make the user share that QR code outside the app. This is another example of where the share link view comes in handy, although this time we're gonna place it inside a context menu. First, find the meview.swift file. I'm gonna add a new context menu modifier to the QR code image view here. Blow this frame modifier right here. We're gonna say we have a context menu, and inside here we'll make our image by calling generate QR code again. Hello dogs, uh, let image equals uh, generate QR code from, and the from string has to match what we had before. That same name line break email address thing here. So I wanna grab, I'm gonna grab that whole string here and paste it in to this new generate QR code from call. Once we have that, we'll make our share link. And this share link will be given as an item, the image was made, but we can't share UI images, only Swift UI images, and so we'll make a new Swift UI image view from this thing here, saying image with UI image of that image we just made a moment ago, like so. Now, when you share an image, it's gonna to want to know what kind of uh, the preview data which you have attached to it. So I'll say we have a preview here. This will be a share preview with my QR code as a title, and the image again will be image of image, UI image, our image like so. So again, we need to convert the UI image that comes back from this to be a Swift UI image here and then be handed off to the system share sheet. Now, we could save a little bit of work by caching the generated QR code because we're calling it here and here, the same thing, the same image being made. However, a more important side of caching here is that we wouldn't have to pass in the exact same string, this whole name, line break, email address thing in both places, because it's here and it's here. We've duplicated the string creation exactly, which isn't very nice. And it means this duplication, if we change our mind in the future and have, say, three lines or flip it around so email address comes first, we're gonna always change it here and here in exactly the same way every single time, otherwise our code will break in mysterious ways. And so we're gonna do a bit of caching instead. So to do this, we're gonna add a new state property to our view that will store the image that was made. So we'll say up here, at state private var QR code is an empty UI image. And now we're gonna modify our generate QR code method so it quietly stores this new code it makes inside that state property there before sending it back. So we'll say all the way down here, don't send it back directly. Instead, stash it away in the QR code property and then send that property back. So it's storing the cached version and then sending it back to be used. And now our context menu share link button can use that cached QR code. So up here in our share link here, we can ditch calling generate QR code again, removing that string duplication, like so. And then down here, the image we'll share is our QR code cached image here, and also here in the preview. Now, before you go any further, make sure you add the same project configuration option we had for our instance filter project. You've got to have a permission request in place asking uh, is it okay if I save this thing to your images? Otherwise, the option won't appear in iOS at all. If you've got to do that, it's okay. What you want to do is go to the Hot Prospects app up here, choose Targets, Hot Prospects right here, then go to the Info tab, and then right-click somewhere in here and choose Add Row. Now, the option we want this time is scroll way down to Privacy. Here we go. You want... Photo library, additions, usage, description. We want to add pictures to the photo library. And the string will show is, we want to save your QR code. And now go ahead and run the app because you're likely to find things don't quite work the way you expected, and that's okay. That's how we learn. Let's go to the Me tab. 
boom. We get a blank QR code now. And also this line appears down here saying modifying state during view update. This will cause undefined behavior. And also this little purple warning thing appeared. This is a runtime issue. Something went wrong when our code actually ran. And it's telling us that line links back to our caching code. Using that cache causes the problem here. What this error means is that our current view body up here makes an image by calling generate QR code. And then that will make our shareable image, which is great, attached to our context view, that's our context menu, which is great as well. But then calling that method now internally modifies the QR code property. And the QR code property is marked with at state. And at state means when I change, reinvoke the body property, keep the body and the state uh, in, in steps. They always have the same data inside them. And so we've got a loop. Making the view body changes QR code, which makes the view body, which changes QR code, which makes the view body. It goes round and round and round. And we've got a loop here. And uh, SwiftUI has basically bailed out and said, I, I'm just going to flag a big warning here. This is clearly wrong. Don't do that. To fix this, we're going to make our image view use our cached QR code. So down here, rather than calling generate QR code here, I'm going to select that line and press Command X. Just that generate QR code call, press Command X now. It's on my clipboard. I instead say your image is going to be that QR code we generated. And the reason I use command next is because we still need to call generate QR code somewhere. And the answer is we'll call it with on appear and on change to make sure the, the, the code is updated when the view is first shown, but also when name or email address is changed. This will be making a, a new method that will update our code, calling that line of code there, which we can then call from on appear and on change smoothly. So I'm going to say down here, we have a new method called update code, like so. I'm going to do QR code equals and just paste in what I had on my clipboard. So paste in that whole generate QR code line here, like so. And that can now be called when our view is shown and when name or email address changes. And so I'll say here below navigation title on appear perform update code. And on change of name, update the code. And on change of email address, update code. So calling that same thing from three places, which is why it's a unique method. We don't have to call generate code in each of those three places. It'd be pretty grim. Having a method that we just say update code means I'm going to copy this entire string everywhere we go, which is much nicer. So now we have that. Now we have update code here, directly updating the value of QR code safely. We can now go back to the earlier version of generate QR code. We can just literally send back a UI image directly without modifying the QR code state. It is now safe to call from anywhere you want to. And now this step is actually done and done properly. We can hopefully press Command R to rerun the code. Go back to our me tab. There we go, that's our QR code thing here. I'll change this to be name of Paul. You can see it's changing it correctly. Again, for email address, paul at hackingwithswift.com. Great, all working nicely. And when I press and hold this thing, I can go to the share button, bring up our share sheet, hopefully. There we go. Uh, there aren't many, again, in the simulator, but you can see the preview working nicely. Use real device, you'll see more options here. But I can go to save image, and it'll say, do you want to allow saving or not? That's our plist uh, info warning thing there. I'll choose allow, and it saved it correctly. So now we have sharing done safely and properly.